Today we're going to be comparing MLB The Show 23 on PS4 and Nintendo Switch. And if you're interested in these type of contents of comparing things, consider subscribing onto the video. Okay, so we have our PS4 and we have our Switch. I know they look the same. This is, this one's a Switch. We have them. We have MLB The Show 23 loaded up right now on the PS4 if you can tell. Now, I did do this video last year. Uh, for last year's game, I don't even think it was a year ago, um, but we did do this video last year, and before I had to switch it over, and it was a little more of a pain in, pain in that, the, the, the badonkis, but this year, not only did I get the game on sale again for the Switch, it was half off on the store, uh, I also got an HDMI switcher so I could be able to switch over easily, which is good for me. Um, so, starting out with the PS4. That is my stream. There we go. Again, the menus are not going to be this. Not going to be any different. There's going to be Road to the Show, Diamond Dynasty, March to October, Franchise, the NGL, like the storylines, uh, Challenge League moments, blah 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 blah. We're going to do what we did last year. Give me the new baby blues. Uh, going right into it again. All these change does not matter we're just picking the best ones we're showing off mostly the graphics those are the kind of only different things that will be affected on this now i've been playing this game pretty much since it came out maybe a little early maybe a little bit after it came out like i got it after but it was it, it's not horrible it has it, it it's mlb the show it has its moments which isn't a no it, it can be a bad thing it can go really bad. Really, really bad sometimes. Uh, but I've been taking this game way too seriously. I have, like, Hello, fans. notes in this MLB notebook about different things. It doesn't matter. So, we look at the graphics. I don't know what it looks like afterwards on the recording. But in the game, it's not that bad. It's, it's something that I'm used to. It's clean. The shadows are nice. There's really nothing different they did update the sounds i think uh some of the sounds at least so see if i can get them to actually make contact they updated that sounds i don't know if they're if i can find a clip so good they also updated the commentary which is commentary was horrible to begin with um i don't care but it's 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 not bad this is this is a game that is you know you get it on the i guess now last gen console ps4 the xbox one you it, it, it's gonna look how it looks and you know the graphics hasn't been updated that much since last year there's the odd up like the Roger Center is different. Let's there's there's the yearly changes or the the different team changes, so jerseys, stadiums, uh, rosters. Ignore that I'm on rookie. I don't really care. It's exhibition. Who cares? Again, the bat sound completely different. <laughs> Doesn't. I think I had it on rookie for road to the show, so I could just grind through the. Uh, just grind through it, so I didn't have to stay in the minors. But there's the new bat sound. It's it's a lot deeper of a sound. Which I don't mind actually. I I I I originally didn't like it, and I think a lot of the community didn't like it. Already know this is fake. Vlad's hitting a home run in Toronto. But you get that idea. Oof. My God! But it's. Let's see if I can try to get a perfect, perfect. Right there. I don't know if anyone heard that. I don't know how loud the audio is in the background. It's 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 pretty nice. It's pretty nice. The graphics are there. There's no real graphical issues. Again, the shading isn't as good as it used to be, but that's that's just how it is. You're not gonna really get much with it, but it's not bad. That's not bad. I, I do wish they did update the graphics. It might be different on PS5. I don't know. 
sometimes I think the graphics aren't as realistic as it is. Okay. Um, before I get ahead of myself, it's it's not bad. I will say that. No. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's, again, kind of everything we're used to. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Uh, it's kind of everything we're a little bit used to, which is fine, to say the least. Would I rather be... Would I rather the graphics have a huge uphaul? Yeah. What I think it would look better with certain shading. Yeah. Will I get it? No, because it's on the, 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 the last gen console and, and whatever. Oof. Okay. I'll just wait until the inning ends and I'm gonna. But you you get the idea. And I think that's all that kinda matters. Is the idea the idea is there. there it is. Okay. The idea is there. So, watch this. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to press this little button. Signal's gone. Little button press. Little press of the button. Hopefully it works. It works. So, again, it is all the same. One thing that I did notice they don't have, and again, you see up there, uh, it is a switch. They don't have the little intro bits. You know what I'm talking about? They don't have the, they don't have the little thing. It is literally just that little last bit. Again, challenge of the week, moments, home run derby, exhibition, blah, 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 blah. Again, still have retro mode. I don't know anyone who plays that. They, they don't have roster updates, <laughs> you can tell, because uh, Alec Manoa is still on there. But yeah, there's there's some things that were actually taken away from this game. And of course, because it is on the Switch, it is lesser hardware. You're going to see it. This is a little glitchier. It was the same thing last year. It wasn't as smooth last year. You guys see the face of Manoa? Look at the... like. It is not as... The shading has gotten a lot better since last year. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, okay. Just happened. Uh, this is... I need to fix all the settings for this. I think I fixed it for a moment never did it again. Um, the... The, uh... The, the, the graphics look like the, um... If you've ever played on a PSP, that's what it looks like. It's it's just a little more pixely. You can kind of see it around around the edges. If you're playing it on a big TV, you're really gonna notice it. On a monitor, you're kind of gonna notice it. The uh, on the, the handheld, it's not. You're gonna notice it, but it's it makes sense if it's on the handheld. They didn't do this they did this game dirty compared to um again i don't even know what mode i'm on for this it's just this is what was given you you see it in the crowd the i don't think the grandstands floor was white before it's it's a little brighter it's it's not horrible could be worse It could be worse. Um. Is it playable? It is very playable. I remember last year I took it out and got a hit. The graphics look about the same. Should you get it? I mean, if it's on sale, go for it. There's nothing wrong with getting it. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with... Nothing wrong with getting it. Okay, we're gonna pause it here. 
So, should you get... Should... Should you get MLB The Show on the Switch? I mean, if you have a Switch and you don't have anything else, sure. Sure. If you're a traveler and you go places often, like you're on a baseball team, or a traveling hockey team, or anywhere, you go on a lot of road trips, sure. You're going to be able to play Road to the Show franchise exhibition sure there's nothing it's not a bad game it's not a bad port to the um the switch it's just if you have something like a ps4 compared to a a switch see if I can hold up the controllers something compared ps4 or a switch you should be leaning towards the ps4 if it does go on sale like it did for the switch then sure it's not bad if your desk is away from your bed and you're having one of those days where you're, you know, don't want to get a bed or you're sick. Having it on the Switch and still grinding through the uh, the Diamond Dynasty or Road to the Show, not a bad option. Should you? Okay. No, maybe. But Switch, for what it is, it's not bad. Is it worth the full price? No. Oh my god, what is banging outside? What who who's banging two buckets together? Is it worth is it worth eighty dollars Canadian? No. Is it worth half off? Twenty percent off, twenty dollars? Thirty dollars? I paid forty for it. Forty five. Sure. Forty five dollars, about half off, is not a bad price. Should you get it? Again, if you don't have a PS4, then sh if you have a PS4 and not a Switch, but you're a baseball fan, sure. Uh, if you have, a, if you already have it on PS4 and you want it to go places, sure. If you want it because it's on sale, sure. Other than that, if you just want it to have it, not even a play, just to say I have it on, it's not worth it. It is the same game, but a little lesser quality. You're not getting all the, the fun features. You're not getting even the slight beautiful dem like beautiful backgrounds to opening the game. It's a little choppier. The graphics are a little harder on the eyes. If you're not getting it because it's on sale, or you only have a Switch, or it's on, or, or you're, you're a traveler, there's no point. But that's on me. I'm not telling you how to spend your money. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends about this video. Let me know if you want to see me compare other games between the Switch and the PS4. And I will see you guys in the next one. So, when in doubt, tend to you out.